Welcome back. You're watching Halton News and joining me in studio to give you an outlook over the Halton region for our real estate market is Amy Kane from the About Town Realty. Thank you very much for joining us. And no problem. Let's talk numbers. What are we seeing? Well, first of all, we're going to begin with a little graphic of Canada wide. It, we have some good news for once for Canadian sellers, specifically those in Ontario. You'll notice here at the very top, Oakville is now the most expensive place to live and buy a house in Canada. This is according to a recent article on Better Dwelling with the sources from Canadian Real Estate Association. So we're seeing strong numbers in Oakville. And over Vancouver as well. That's right. We have surpassed them as now the most unaffordable uh, place to buy a home, which is great if you're selling. It's yeah. not so good if you're buying, but <laughs> no. if you're doing a buy and a sell, you can win on both sides. Okay. So the next graphic we have is the Oakville and Milton stats for the month. And so these are the May stats. We're a few days away from June. So you'll notice here uh, monthly, uh, May 2019 over May 2018, prices and uh, residential sales, sorry, were down 4.39% in Oakville, but prices were up, the average price up 2.83%. And year to date, prices in Oakville average are up 2.61%. Milton, huge, huge increase in sales, 23% increase in sales this year over last year, but the numbers are low. They're 120 and 91 so a small um a small sample, but also average price this month over a year ago up 13.56% uh, and almost 8% year to date. So this is great. We're seeing positive growth. And what is interesting to see is typically Oakville, Milton, Burlington and surrounding GTA areas are predominantly single detached homes. But if you look at the visual um, chart that I've got for Oakville and Milton, you're going to see here the red portion on the circular graph is semi link homes and townhomes and the green condo apartments and condo townhouses that is now the 23.4 percent of the market okay, so, so that's really substantial growing. it is really growing and the thing to note about that is that that makes things affordable for first-time home buyers right. we're seeing more homes and townhomes and condos in the 400s and 500s which is really a positive thing and it's one of the reasons that Oakville is the number one community in Canada to live in the next one you look at is the same it's the same visual but it's for Milton and again you'll see See, Milton didn't used to have a lot of semis and condo stuff, and now that's over, that's almost 30%, it's over 30% of the market. So that's huge. So, and then if we go quickly into, into Burlington, you'll notice here the top line of this whole graph, Burlington sales are up and they are up quite significantly. So good news for everyone across the board in the Halton region. And um, I'm thinking that once the weather's heating up, the market's gonna keep heating up. And I think we have some positive signs to up ahead. Fantastic. And now you had uh, a couple of areas that are hot to buy right now. So do you want to give us that list and yeah. uh, maybe indicators as to why they're so hot? Sure. So there was an article in Money Sense recently, and it was reposted on in Halton, which we all know and love. The top three neighborhoods in Halton to buy, number one is Uptown Core in Oakville. So that's above Dundas. And why that's so important is because there's a big variation of homes. There's semis, there's towns, there's condo apartments, and there's single detached homes. Right Right now, you can get that about 10% less on your buy than mm -hmm. any other part of Oakville, and they're predicting in the future you're going to get about a 270% return wow. on your purchase. Okay. So really good investment, really solid for first-time home buyers, and um, it's just an excellent little pocket. The second one is Acton and Halton Hills, a little bit more north than some people prefer, but you can get a home there for about 40% less than Oakville or Burlington, and about 45% less than the GTA as a whole. So again, really good investment for a first-time home buyer where you can get a detached home on a really nice piece of property mm -hmm. and um, and grow your family so right now the, the average price in Acton is coming in at about eight hundred and forty thousand that may not sound cheap but Oakville and Burlington are over a million dollars so this you know it's quite a good buy fantastic and the third is Appleby in Burlington and that again you're going to get about six percent less than anywhere else in Burlington and about thirteen percent less than a GTA home good go, go train access, good commuter routes, and a really like nice port of town where it's close to the Oakville downtown and the Burlington downtown. 
Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us here today. And again, those are your spring summer market numbers for across the Halton region. Amy, thank you for joining us. And for those watching, for more information or to contact us, you can go to, you can rather email us or check out our website, yourtv.tv. Thanks for watching and have a great night.